totally uninsured, priceless contents of antique furniture and silver were lost in the raging inferno which swept through the castle as the dawn broke over Slane and its shocked townspeople. It was a dry night and there was a hell of a wind. I mean, it's not just a personal loss, but there are so many people involved in Slane now who work here and who, which has been part of their life. What do you think, looking back at that now? Uh, the whole thing is surreal. Um, and, uh, I mean, one of the most bizarre things that sticks in my mind is, I mean, the whole thing was horrendous. Um, and I actually got into the building before the farmer, and some, it's like another spirit took over me. And I just did what I did. Uh, the castle was engulfed in smoke. I can remember wrapping a barber around my fist and ramming it through a window so I could get to breathe got out of the building, waited for the farmen, and they, we fought a ferocious battle to save the building, save the famous ballroom in the castle, um, and save as many of the artifacts and um, historical pictures. And then, um, I had no breathing equipment or anything, <laughs> and suddenly, once the fire was under control, I um, got this... Um, ferocious pain in my chest and a very good friend of mine um, goes by the name of Nick the Greek had got in his car and driven down from Dublin and he was standing beside me and there was an ambulance over there and there was an RTE news crew watching me and I don't know what was going on in my head and I turned around to Nick and I said there's no <laughs> bloody way I'm walking out of here or being driven out of here in an ambulance and so he got me in the car and we went to the Lord's Hospital in Drogheda and then I was lying in bed with a uh, oxygen mask over my head and suddenly the six o'clock news came on and there was me yeah. in that clip and I, I can't tell you, it, it just felt like an out of body it's experience. Surreal, it's, surreal. it's like, has this really happened? Yeah. It was a, a desperate shock. Uh, thank God no one died. But